Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you everybody? Are you okay? I hope everybody will be fine. Guys, today in this short video lecture, I will discuss five to seven things which is very useful for civil engineering students. And you should learn these five to seven things which I'm telling you in this video. It's depend on you if you want to learn it on construction site or at college or anywhere. But I hope these things can change your future in civil engineering. Many students, they are telling me, sir, what is important in civil engineering? What we should learn? So in this video, I will clear your concept and I will tell you that learn these things which can help you on construction site or at college or in anywhere. So let's start guys. The first thing that is guys learn standard codes which used in building construction. What are the standard codes? Like ACI codes, American Concrete Institute, are IS codes, Indian standard codes, etc. Guys, standard codes are very useful for civil engineering students. If you are working on construction site or at college or anywhere, it can help you more. So therefore, remember standard codes, which can help you in building construction. Anywhere you can follow the standard codes, but try to learn specially ACI codes, American Concrete Institute. This is the first thing. Guys, next, the second thing, learn how to study civil engineering drawing, how to study sections and building, how to study uh, long section and section of plane beam. Also, learn how to study steel structure design and civil engineering. Many students, they are, they are working on construction site, but if someone gave him civil engineering drawing about that project in which he is working, so he is not able to learn civil engineering drawing. So guys, learn how to study civil engineering drawing. If you don't know about this, so the link is in the description of this video, how to learn civil engineering drawing, how to learn drawing for beam, column, slab, or for any structure in civil engineering. So guys, how to study civil engineering drawing, this is also the very important and you should learn and you should keep in your mind this thing. This is the second. Now the third one. Guys, learn BBS, bar bending schedule of beam, column, or and slab, etc. How to prepare bar bending schedule, especially for steel structure. How to find the cut length of uh, beam, column, or slab, etc. So there are more things in BBS bar bending schedule. If that is beam, column, or slab, but you should remember and you should learn, you should research for bar bending schedule. If you don't know about bar bending schedule, so also the link is in the description of this video how to prepare bar bending schedule for beam, column, and slab, etc. This is the third thing. Guys, the fourth thing is also very useful in civil engineering. That is, guys, learn civil engineering softwares, how to use AutoCAD software how to use uh, ProStop, how to, uh, uh, and also learn MS Excel, etc. PrimeVera, project management, etc. So many students, they know about civil engineering softwares. So you should try to learn some softwares in civil engineering, which are related with civil engineering. So guys, it can help you, okay? So you are also able after learning of civil engineering software to get a job easily and you can also start your own uh, business with the help of civil engineering softwares. This is the fourth. Guys, the fifth things that is also very useful. That is, guys, learn how to prepare estimate. So the quantity survey is also very useful for civil engineering student. How to calculate quantity of bricks like this, how to calculate quantity of steel, how to calculate quantity of uh, mortar, concrete, etc. And how to prepare estimate. This is the four things and it is very useful if you want to learn and if you want to uh, change your life. So the quantity survey is very useful for civil engineering student if you are working on site or if you are studying so anywhere it can help you so quantity survey should be 
learned by every civil engineering student so research for this if you don't know so i have cleared all the things in civil engineering especially for quantity survey so you can search in my channel so guys this is the fourth one now guys the fifth one uh, uh, sorry the sixth one what is the sixth one guys remember all the documentation work okay how to prepare bill okay also learn about tender etc so learn all the documentation works especially in civil engineering because you are civil engineering student so therefore it's important for you to learn all the document works and construction so guys it can help you so many students they are asking for different types of questions so guys these are some five to six tips or things which i have discussed the front of you now come to main point many students they are asking different types of questions so guys it is not important that every civil engineer or every civil engineer trainer will tell you that this is the answer of your question or this is the, uh, the answer of uh, anything okay so guys you should try you should research okay without research you are not able to do something new so try to learn something new after completion of civil engineering so it doesn't mean if you complete civil engineering so you are able to do everything no i'm also trying for research i'm also learning nowadays so therefore i'm trying to record some new uh, knowledge with the front of you in this channel so guys these are some useful five to six or seven things which is useful for civil engineering and i uh, record it in this video for you people so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video